Hello everyone. So we are now at the part two of our work containers and the Kubernetes tutorial. In this tutorial, in this video, we will learn what are the container images, the architecture of container images. And then we will discuss Docker Hub and the Red Hat container catalog. So since uh, this tutorial is very useful for the candidates who are also preparing for the Red Hat exam 180, and this exam is very valuable. And this is a exam is uh, for containers and Kubernetes technologies. Okay, so we will focus on Red Hat Container Catalog more. Okay, but I have also give you um, some um, uh, some background and some knowledge of the Docker Hub as well. Okay, but we will use Podman more rather than Docker. Okay. Since I already told you in the previous video, Docker and Podman are kind of same, uh, same, uh, doc, same uh, container daemon, we can say, okay, and work uh, more or less samely, okay. Then finally, we will have uh, the demonstration, and demonstration is for create first container with the MySQL image, okay. So in this demonstration, uh, we will arrange all the pieces which we have learning in the part together, okay? So let me uh, move ahead. So what is the container images, okay? So container images is kind of a layered architecture, okay? One layer above the, okay? So one is the base image, base layer, then top of it, another layer, then top of it, another layer kind of okay so in the benefit of layered architecture we can change it in between okay so for example suppose uh, we are developing a application okay suppose this is our application this layer okay so we are developing our application which is based on the ubuntu ubuntu operating system it is a, also a kind of red hat okay uh, Linux base operating system. Okay, so Ubuntu. So suppose our application is Ubuntu boy. So now we will create we will create a container. Okay, within image. Okay, so what would be our image? So a uh, lot of uh, uh, persons uh, are already aware about the Docker. So that's why I am showing uh, I am taking up here the Docker example and the Docker. Uh, build command and docker run command here okay so this is our docker file you can say at this level okay so we are using the base ubuntu layer then this base ubuntu layer then we are having the apt package layer then the pip package layer okay then the source code so by this it, it is having the read only okay then top of it okay now we are using this as a base image in our docker file Okay, and now this is our application layer and at the layer number six, okay? So it is our container layer, okay? So our container layer consists of from layer one, two, three, four, five, and then our layer, okay? So this is the benefit of using layer architecture, okay? So in between we can fit our layer. So suppose now, uh, I once I will launch the another version of my application, then what I will do, I will use this image as the base image, okay? And then top of it, I will create my more layers here, okay? So this is the benefit of layers architecture. Okay, so after uh, um, uh, some uh, concepts of container image, let me uh, discuss about the Docker have the Red Hat. So let me, show you the docker hub first okay so this is the uh, url of docker hub hub.docker.com okay so let's be uh, go there okay let me search the mysql image okay okay so you can see here these are the MySQL image and how to use this MySQL image. Okay, these are the tags of MySQL image and uh, some little uh, information about MySQL. Then these are the commands we can use, okay, 
to get this uh, mysql image from docker hub okay from docker hub okay and then create the container based on this mysql image okay once i have done we will go into our demonstration part then you will understand it in um, uh, by hands on okay so uh, let me also show you so this is our red hat containers okay it is our red hat container registry so once we will go there okay you need to sign up okay if you are first time user then you need to uh, sign up for uh, docker hub okay as well as for red hat container image registry so let me also find here my sql image okay so the concept is more or less same for container for docker hub as well as uh, for red hat container images okay so here uh, the main difference is the red hat container uh, uh, images is contains the image basically authorized and authenticated by the red hat okay so it is already verified by the red hat okay so that is so as um, as we have already set up our machine um, our um, um, uh, virtual machine in which we have already set up the pod of uh, podman okay so this red hat machine let me show you this is our red hat machine okay it is using rhel 8.3 and it is in the aws environment so this is our virtual machine i have set up for it okay so since it is using the uh, mysql 8 okay so i am uh, clicking here and now you can see uh, if we use the latest tag okay uh, I will in depth uh, in our subsequent video. I will I will tell you everything about the tag and much more about the Docker files and everything. I will let you know. Okay, but uh, first uh, run our example. Okay, so like uh, so as I told you, Podman and Docker are some kind of identical. So this is the Podman command. Okay, Podman run. Okay, then for for setting up uh, uh, MySQL container, uh, these things we need to provide. Uh, likewise, if we go to the Docker Hub, this is the Docker Hub. Okay, same way. Uh, in that Podman, we say Podman run. In Docker, we say Docker run. Okay, and other things are more or less same. Okay, so this would be our command. Okay, let me copy the image name from here. Okay, and let me update it. Okay, okay. So uh, let me copy this command and before executing, I will, uh, I will uh, tell you what this command is doing, okay? So now I am in my virtual machine, okay? I have connected with my virtual machine and we have already um, uh, installed our uh, podman in the last video and if i go and run this command podman version command then you can see our podman is already uh, installed um, and now let's run um, our command to um, oh, sorry some issue okay wait you know okay so this command will create a container inside our vm okay and once it will create and it will also run this container as well will create the container and start the container as well okay so sudo podman run this is the command run means it will first create the container and then it will run the container the container name would be okay so name is the parameter okay and the container name would be my sql hyphen basic okay minus e means environment variables okay so my sql user is a environment variable which we will use to set up our my sql my sql user would be user one 
Then again, minus E means environment variable, another environment variable, MySQL password would be MySQL, MyPA55. Then another environment variable is MySQL database. And it should be items. Then another environment variable, MySQL root password would be root pa. Minus D means it will run in the background. Okay, the command once uh, once uh, container will create then this container will run into in, in the background not in the foreground and this is our image okay and this image it will take from rhe18 and this is our image name okay by default it will take the latest tag okay so that's why if we are not mentioning any tag here then it will take the latest tag so let me go ahead and run it Okay, so it is showing us some error failed. Okay, so this error is because we are not uh, authorized for uh, this registry. Okay, so it is checking for the multiple um, uh, repositories. Okay, multiple um, container repositories. One is first it is going to the registry at this. If it is not finding uh, our uh, image there or maybe we are not authorized there, then it is going to the query.io. Okay, likewise, okay. So let we first log in into, uh, into, into this, okay. So uh, for it, okay, uh, we have to write the command sudo for the man login okay and now it is asking for the username my username is t e j e n d r a tejendra rana now it is asking for password let me put the password Okay, so our login is success now. So we are now logged in into the registry, okay? Container registry. So now let we run our command again. And this time it should work, okay? So now it is trying to get the uh, images, okay? So now you can see it is starting receiving the, and I, as I told you, okay? So it is taking these all the layers downloading from the registry, image registry. Okay, and building up the uh, container. Okay. So uh, our container has been built up now. Okay, so for checking whether our container built successfully or not. Okay, and uh, what uh, all the processes are currently running okay we need to run studio podman ps command okay it is it will show all over all the processes which are running okay so now here you can see container id is this okay and uh, image name is this which we have uh, um, just downloaded okay and tag is the latest okay this is command created time 25 seconds ago status okay and port okay so all information is here for it okay so our container is running okay so everything goes well so now let's go inside the container first okay then we will execute some mysql command to check whether our container and inside our container we have mysql server so everything is working well or not so let first go inside the container so to go inside the container this is the command sudo podman exec okay hyphen it this is our container name mysql basic okay and this is the cell we will use okay bin base okay so once we will run this command so now we are inside our container now we are working in our container okay so um, 
we are inside this directory of the container okay and let's check who am i okay i am mysql user okay so that's how okay so now let's uh, start our mysql and go inside it okay so now we have uh, um, okay so let's we play around this mysql database okay so currently it is having so let me use item database okay so now we are in the items database okay let me create uh, one uh, table uh, projects okay inside our database okay so this is the command we are used we are running create table projects okay so our create our table created okay let me use uh, tables command okay so it is showing that our table has been created let insert some value also okay so let me okay so and now see whether value inserted correctly or not okay so everything is going fine okay so let me exit from here okay so in this tutorial we saw what are the container image okay how to use docker hub and red hat container image catalog in our demo we created our first container which is having the mysql okay so we uh, created this container from the red hat container catalog okay we use the podman first we logged in into the into the red hat container catalog by using our user id and password then receive the mysql image from there then we build the container run the container then we go went inside our container okay then we uh, played some mysql command inside our container to check whether our container is fully functional or not okay so everything was fine okay so that's all for this video in next video now we will do some more complex things with the container and we'll learn what is what are the docker files and all the commands and other layers and then we will go with the more complexity and uh, more services with the Kubernetes. Thanks everyone.